Like other aspects of mixed method research, sampling in, in mixed method research is a bit more complex in comparison to either quantitative research or qualitative research in general. So in this presentation, we will have an introduction to sampling in mixed method research. First, let us in the beginning define what is mixed method research. Research that makes use of a combination of quantitative and qualitative research objectives, sampling, data collection, analysis, and generalization methods are generally termed uh, is generally termed as mixed method research. So generally, mixed method research is considered as non-paradigmatic or, or research that belongs to the pragmatic approach to research. Or in some cases, um, this the, the paradigm in which mixed method research falls is called the third paradigm. So, the samples in mixed methods, as we know that there is mixing of methods in this particular research type, so the samples consist both of quantitative and qualitative types. Now, there are several types of mixed method research samples, and these types actually depend on research objectives the structures or designs of our research um, studies or other practical considerations. So two main ways in which mixed method samples have been categorized include categorization based on time orientation <clears throat> and categorization based on sample relationship. In terms of time orientation, time orientation actually means the when of the quantitative or qualitative phases of the study. Um, so as we know that in mixed methods research, we have quantitative and qualitative parts. When quantitative part of the study takes place and when qualitative uh, part takes place, that is something that we deal with in this time orientation uh, way of looking at the categories of mixed methods research. The sample relationship um, is actually how quantitative and qualitative samples are related to each other. So on the basis of these two main categories, um, there are further categories. So the first one in terms of time orientation, the quantitative or quali and qualitative phases uh, may be conducted concurrently or simultaneously or they might be conducted at the same time. The quantitative and qualitative parts of the mixed method uh, research might be conducted sequentially, that is, they might be conducted one after the other. So. Um, in terms of time orientation, we have these two broad categories, the concurrent ones and the sequential ones. Now, in terms of sample relationship, um, four categories, four types have been identified by researchers. And uh, one very important categorization is by um, on work Boozy and Collins. And this is um, their categorize, categorization where the, there is identification of four subtypes. The first one is the identical one where the quantitative and quali qualitative samples are the same for a particular study. So that means data is collected and analyzed from the same sample both for the quantitative and qualitative part. The parallel type where the quantitative and qualitative samples are different, but the population is the same. So the population is the same and the quantitative sample and the qualitative sample both are drawn from the same sample, uh, from the same population. Then the nested one 
where the samples from one phase is a subset of sample from the other phase. So generally, it happens that because the quantitative samples are larger, so the qualitative part is generally a subset of the, of the quantitative sample. And then the multi-level one, where the quantitative and qualitative samples are from different types or different levels of, of the population. So again, here we have two types of samples, um, and generally the population is the same, but the population has different categories. And the samples, uh, the quantitative and the qualitative, are from those different categories or different types inside the population. So these are the four broad categories in terms of sample relationship. So on the basis of the two uh, categories or two types in terms of time orientation and in terms of sample relationship, uh, we have an overall of eight categories and so or eight subcategories of the sampling in mixed method research. So the first one among those eight mixed method samples is the identical concurrent where data collection from the same sample for quantitative and qualitative parts um, happens simultaneously. So the sample is the same uh, for quantitative and qualitative and the data is also collected from both simultaneously or almost at the same time. The identical sequential one where the data collection from the same sample for quantitative and qualitative parts happens one after the other. So we can see here that the samples are identical or same samples, uh, both for quantitative and qualitative part, but the data generally takes place, one uh, data collection generally takes place in sequence, that is, Either it begins with qualitative data first and then quantitative data or the other way around. Then the, the parallel concurrent design where the data collection generally happens at the same time from different samples of the same population. So the population is the same but the samples are different. Um, and these actually, the, the data collection process takes place at the same time, the sample selection takes place at the same time. Then the parallel sequential design where data collection from different quantitative and qualitative samples of the sample of the same population are uh, taken one after the other. So here what happens is that the samples for quantitative and qualitative are different, but the population is the same, and the quantitative and qualitative data collection process happens one after the other. Um, so now towards the last four of the eight types, the next one is the nested concurrent. Here, the data is collected simultaneously from one type of sample that is a subset of the other type of sample. So the concurrent actually means that the data is collected, the sample is selected, the data is collected at the same time. But one of the, um, uh, one of the samples is a subset of the other sample. So that's why it's nested inside the, the bigger one. So um, generally, we can say because the qualitative samples are, uh, are smaller in comparison to quantitative samples, so one could say that qualitative samples in this type of sampling will be a subset of the quantitative sample, or in some cases the opposite can or might also be the case. Nested sequential sample. In this type of sample, data is collected sequentially. That actually means one after the other from one type of sample that is a subset of the other type of sample 
and so generally the qualitative sample or a subset of quantitative sample or vice versa so here again one sample is a subset of the other sample but the data is collected one after the other or in sequence then multi level concurrent uh, sampling uh, method here the data is collected from different levels or categories or samples of a population simultaneously so concurrent again means the simultaneous nature of the data collection process what happens in this one is that the population is generally the same but it has different categories or levels those categories could be based on maybe gender or age or something some other characteristic um, and so the broader population is the same but the sample the sample is different in terms of certain characteristics and the last one the multi level sequential is that where the data is collected from different levels or categories or samples of a population one after the other so here the data collection takes place simultaneously or uh, sorry sequentially one after the other but the data the, the population is the same and the data is collected from different categories or subsets of the population so these are the eight ways in which mixed method research samples have been categorized and here are some very important sources and readings um that in most of the presentation is based on on ideas and main concepts from these sources these can help you in further further reading in detail and strengthening your understanding related to this topic thank you very much for